Welcome to Event Management Recipes for Success with Ryan Kilgore, Tevin Pinkett, and Shaquita Jones. In this workshop, we hope we give you some valuable information on how to successfully run an event from start to finish. We will start first by introducing you to our staff. Shaquita Jones is the President and CEO of the International Association of Exhibition and Events. Next, there is Ryan Kilgore, who joined our staff in 2008 and shortly thereafter was appointed to the Chief Financial Officer of IAEE. And finally, there is Tevin Pinkett, who is the Chief Operating Officer of the International Association of Exhibitions and Events. Objective one of the workshop, participants will modify current event management, also known as planning practices. Objective two of our workshop will be for participants to be able to assess the top five reasons that their events become off track. Objective three, participants will be able to create different events to construct them to attract new customers. Objective four of our workshop will be for participants to be able to demonstrate their knowledge of effective event management skills. Objective five, participants will be able to define what goes on into a successful event. And finally, objective six of our workshop will be for participants to be able to prioritize social media. Hello everyone, my name is Shaquita Jones and for this next session, Everyone will be participating in a plan and promote icebreaker. As an event planner, you usually have to deal with promoting events, which involves meeting new people or marketing the event on social media. That is why I like to encourage everyone to participate in the next two icebreaker activities because they are engaging activities and a great way for everyone to socialize. For the first icebreaker activity is called speed meeting. It's just like speed dating. It gives you an opportunity to meet and mingle with the other attendees. All of the attendees will be given a number of either one or two. The number ones will sit at specific tables, and the number twos are able to sit at just random tables just to get us started. Everyone will have three minutes to discuss with one another and get to know a little bit more about each other. Once the buzzer goes off, the number twos will move to the table to the right. This is a great way for everyone to socialize and get to meet one another. For the second icebreaker activity, it's called selfie time because using social media right now is just a big platform to market events, to invite attendees. We just want to encourage you to continue to use that and also to memorize coming to this workshop. For selfie time, everyone will be given new numbers of one through five. The group of ones will go to a specific table. The group of twos will go to specific tables and so on and so on. At the table, everyone will reintroduce reintroduce themselves and they will also discuss which social media platforms they use to promote events. After everyone has introduced themselves and talked about the social media platform, then everyone at that group will take a selfie. I hope that everyone has enjoyed participating in our icebreaker activities and for the next session, Ryan will be taking over to talk about pre-planning events. Thank you. Welcome to the first topic of event recipes for success which is titled not just planning total event production. The objectives of this section of workshop, workshop will be for participants to gain valuable information on the components and stages of planning required to plan an upcoming event. Participants will also be able to gain, be able to understand the importance of planning and budgeting in relation to administering a successful event. And lastly, participants will be able to successfully apply the knowledge gained through this portion of the workshop by assessment and situational decision making. Event management is one of the most fun but most stressful, unpredictable fields to work in. In this field, you are able to create fond memories for others as well as yourself. It is fun and satisfying, but can also have you face unfavorable conditions. Through these moments of unfavorable conditions, many times if these instances are planned for, <clears throat> they are much easier to solve. That is what this portion of the work is all about. The pre-planning and strategic operations set forth for an event directly affect the success of that event. Pre-event planning takes great attention to detail and risk-reducing state of mind and strict adherence to the plan set forth. 
In this section, you will be provided with keys to planning a successful event through teaching and simulation. Plan is a key ingredient to putting on a successful event. In this exercise, you will be conducting a series of mock planning meetings. Some of them will be senior staff meetings and others will be department and or operational staff meetings. In this exercise, we will split you into teams which will represent a different division of the operation team. One person from each team will choose to be the manager of a particular division. The others will form the operation staff. One of our event management experts will play the chief operating officer. As a team, you will come up with components that you feel are important to the success of the event that relate to the particular division you are representing. Your appointed manager will relay those components or concerns to the COO effectively, receive orders from the COO, and effectively relay those orders back to the operations team. This, this activity will allow you to apply creative thinking, risk management objectives, communication with a collaborative group, and communicating with different levels of an organization from all possible perspectives. The divisions that the teams will split in, be split in are listed below. Team 1 will be marketing, advertising, and promotions. Team 2 will be ticket operations and guest services. Team 3 will be facility operations, and Team 4 will make up the security staff. Once your teams are formed, conduct a two to three minute meet and greet with your team members and let's get started. In this portion of the workshop, we will have two activities that will allow, to, allow you to use your mind and think of things from the view of an event manager. In the first activity, we'll give you a worksheet containing 20 components that require planning for an upcoming event. Your job is to tell us why these components are important to a successful event in two sentences or less. The next activity will test your creativity and graphic design skills. When you arrive, you are provided with a laptop to use for various activities throughout this workshop. Installed on this, on this laptop is the latest version of Photoshop. The activity will be to open up the Photoshop program and create an official logo for the event of your choice. It would be a good idea to include dates, times, and the place of the event in the logo. There are references available to guide you. Throughout this planning section of the workshop, we offer you many ideas, tips, and guidance on the planning that it takes to put on a successful event. The information we provided here is only a start to the world of event planning. Please remember that, <clears throat> that every event is unique and none of them are ever the same, but if you can learn to think in terms of reducing risk and maximizing resources, you can be a successful event planner. We hope that we gave you enough insight to move on to the next phase of the workshop, which teaches you how to successfully operate and administer during an event. But before you go, we would like you to take a look at a video entitled, 15 Corporate Event Management Tips guide to planning and or, or, organizing corporate functions that will offer some additional tips we did not cover and also would like to remind you that successful event managers always practice flexibility and adaptability to change. Thank you for attending and for your hard work throughout this section. Good luck moving forward. Hello everyone again my name is Shaquita Jones and I will be discussing event planning during operation. I will also be looking at three objectives. The first objective will be looking at how participants will modify current event management planning practices. The second objective looks at how participants will be able to demonstrate their knowledge of effective event management skills. And the third objective looks at how participants will be able to define what goes into a successful event. It is officially operation time. When planning an event, there are many operational steps that should be taken into consideration in order to ensure its success. For instance, knowing your market, being able to demonstrate your knowledge of effective event management skills, and letting your actions and your ability to anticipate the needs of consumers before they arrive. These are all equally key components to any successful event. Event planning is a very creative and competitive field that requires you to be flexible and resourceful during the operation of any event. During the operation planning of event, event managers play many different management roles. The biggest role involves using your knowledge of the customer. Having little knowledge can lead to costly and irrational decision making. One mistake 
into an everlasting nightmare for the duration of planning. In most cases, it's not just on the event manager reputation, but also the company reputation. Managing an event is like running a business and making final decisions can affect the outcome of future event operation. At the end of this training, you will be able to demonstrate your knowledge by putting into practice the objectives from this lesson. There are many roles and skills needed to succeed in event operation, but it is understandable that mistakes can happen. In the event planning industry, mistakes often lead to loss of money, screen, reputation, irritable clients, and in screen cases, loss of employment. You will need to understand and develop skills to overcome bad decision making during the operation procedure of planning events. To overcome bad decision, one must learn how to become resourceful with within whatever circumstances the situation calls for. This means you must accept the manager's roles of being flexible and patient while also taking immediate action before a situation grows out of control. The different manager roles help develop your skills. As an event manager during operation, you will be the human resource manager because you're required to effectively manage your employees and attendees during the event to make sure procedures are being followed. You will be the conflict manager due to the fact that you may be required to handle different conflicts with vendors, attendees, and even with your employees that will require you to defuse situations quickly before they escalate. The most important manager role is having a plan of operation before the event even takes place and making sure the entire team is on the same page. By being the planner, you must have a few strategic plans and resources to ensure the operational event will run smoothly. You need to have a strategic plan because the plan will help fix situations in case something goes wrong. These plans will fail if communication is not clear because bad communication can lead to more errors. Knowing mentally what you have to do in worst case scenario helps to bring ease to even the best thought out strategy. The strategic plan will ensure both employees and managers understand the procedure concerning crowds, time, and transportation management. Another challenge event managers will deal with is the people at the event. The biggest challenge can become the people attending the event. You need to have a marketing strategy and customer service skills in order to be able to draw people in and deal with them before, as they arrive, during the event, and even after the event. As an event manager, you need to demonstrate flexibility, be level-headed, responsible, and organized at all times. To encourage you to continue to use the lessons that you are taught at this workshop, we would like to ask everyone to participate in the guided practice activity. To learn how to better manage the operations during an event, you will create a checklist. You will be placed into a group and given a flip chart. The group will create a checklist of three important tasks that are needed during event operation and one bad task that is not needed during event operation. A checklist is a visual guideline that you can use after the workshop to continue practice at any event. Your group will have 20 minutes to complete a checklist as a group. After your group has compiled a list, you will rejoin the workshop and will be given a piece of paper to create a new checklist. The new checklist is created from the workshop discussion from everyone that attended the workshop. The new checklist will only be compiled of what the whole workshop attendees think is important. By creating a checklist, it gives you the chance to collaborate and brainstorm with others and explore a multitude of ideas. The checklist will be created in order to help you understand key aspects of event operation. To help further develop your skills, we believe practice makes perfect. Event managers need to be confident during operation of an event, and the only way to become more confident in different skills means knowing what you're talking about. To prove that you have learned a lot at this workshop and can put into practice what you're taught, you'll be required to participate in two individual practice activities to better develop your skills of the operational procedure of events. For the first activity, you will use your skills of being flexible during an event and show your ability to modify current events to fit customers' demand. The activity requires you to be an investigator. You will be broken into small groups and will work together as a group to investigate customers' complaint from two different events. The ability to deal with irate customers during an event is an important skill for an event manager. Each group will receive photos as evidence from the two different events and will look at the photos to determine if the customer has a case. You will also look for three good examples and three of bad examples to discuss about the event operations. The group challenge is figuring out a way to satisfy the customer. This is an important part of learning because it helps ensure that you're able to see trigger signs that could happen during an event and you're able to modify the event to make the customer happy. 
The individual activity allows you to practice the objective of being able to assess an event to understand why the event came off track in the first place. Getting off track is one thing, but knowing the skills required for event planning will make you become a great event manager. In activity number two, attendees will be split into two teams for an interactive game show called Event View. Just like television show Family Feud, participants will be asked about specific topics to discuss at the workshop, and they will have to answer the question with specific key terms showing their knowledge of operations during events. Once we have two teams and an individual point, each team will face off to see who has the correct answers to take control of the board. The team that has control must reveal all of the correct answers on the board before getting three strikes. If they get three strikes, the other team is allowed to answer and the correct answer will allow them to win the points. If they answer incorrectly, the other team gets the point. We will play three rounds of event fuel. This is more of an engaging and social activity to make sure you're, you understand the importance of why group training is needed for event managers to stay on track. Plus, who can resist a game show? Event planning is not an easy job, especially during operation of events. In the end, we hope this training topic has taught you how to manage events more effectively during operation. The activities and guided practice are tools you can use to help you understand what skills you need to improve. In conclusion, operational procedures of event planning needs to run smoothly, but they can only run smoothly if you're able to understand how to make good decisions with the skills you have developed from this workshop. And the next session will be taken over by Tevin to discuss post-event operation. And thank you again for listening to my training topic. After going through this portion of the workshop, participants will be able to recall the steps started that are involved in planning the perfect event. Participants will also be able to subdivide tasks for the breaking down of their event. And participants will also be able to demonstrate their knowledge of event management skills. All the functions of event management are important. The conclusion of an event might be the most important aspect of an event. Event managers want their guests to leave the event safely. In order to the, ensure this, event management team members must place their members, teams must place their members in the right position. Safety can have a large impact on the event. There are two things that go into concluding an event, the breakdown and the dismissal. The breakdown means returning an event to its normal state. That means return the event back to the way it was before you actually had the event. And the dismissal means people are leaving in a safe manner. Step by step guide allows you to list each step that must be taken in any aspect of your event. Step by step guide should generally contain five to ten steps. You want to keep the number in this area because less than five it could be too little and too vague and your team members will have to figure out things on their own but you want to keep it less than less in between that area because too many steps and your members could be confused and the guided practice activity that we have for you you'll be able to list your own step-by-step -step guides as a whole workshop as a whole unit you will list your top 10 steps that you think should go into concluding the perfect event. We will discuss these 10 steps and we will elaborate on why we think this is important. Thank you for your participation in the guided activity. Now we have two activities for you to allow you to demonstrate your skills. What I want you to do is break off into groups of five. Now using the website Flickr, there will be five pictures projected on the projector screen. You and your group members must select one of those pictures and come up with your top 10 steps to success. Each group member is encouraged to come up with one to two steps for your top 10 steps to success plan. Discuss this amongst yourself, put your thinking hats together, work as a team. And for your second activity, you will be required to work in groups of five again, but this time you will use a decision map. A decision map basically allows you to map out the consequences of your decision. I'll use myself for an example. If I don't go to work, then if I make the decision not to go to work, 
then I could miss out on money. I could, I might not be on the event management team anymore. Someone could take my place. On the overhead projector, there will be two scenarios listed for you. This is a debate style activity that allows you to debate with a, against another team on the decisions that they made and defend the decisions that you made. Have fun. The workshop leaders are here to help you. If you have any questions, don't be hesitant to ask. Thank you for participating in this portion of the workshop. I hope that you are able to use a step-by-step -step guide in each of your practices. I hope you realize the importance of having a step-by-step -step guide and that the conclusion of an event is a big part of an event. Good luck to you all. Once again, thank you for attending our Recipe for Success and Event Planning Workshop. We would like to encourage you to read the following books to help develop your event planning skills or if you have any further questions. Thank you.